so I did. Hey lovies, what the wretch is up fam? If you're new here, my name is Terry Ann or TA and I'm a Connecticut based lifestyle YouTuber. This is my husband Mike. Hey. That's our daughter Penny. And today we're doing something fun, a little bit different. Um, we got invited by a restaurant to experience their brunch. And you know, Mike and I, we moved to Connecticut. Um, November. In November, in the fall. Yep. And I think we're just, I'm from Connecticut, but I left like when I was 18 and I haven't been back since, well, you know, to live since. So we're both just trying to experience Connecticut and figure out all the places we like. When we were in Boston, we really, really loved going out to eat and eating all these like, all this good food and, and all of that, and at all of these cool places. Mm -hmm. And we just haven't found like our real go-to places yet here in Connecticut. Um, I've been a little bit slow to figuring things out because I was so pregnant at one point and then Penny was so young, but now we're bringing her out more. It's summer and we are exploring more areas. Mike's been to more creameries than restaurants, I think. Is that right? Yeah, uh, that might be right. I've been to... Like three or four? I've been to three, yeah. Yeah, so... Four if you count the one in New Haven as being a separate a location. A separate location, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're really just kind of figuring things out here. So when this company reached out, I was just like, yeah, like, let's experience the brunch. I was like, okay. I wasn't gonna, um, film it because this isn't sponsored they're just this isn't sponsored by them at all but I saw their menu and they had some crazy things on the menu so I thought I'd share kind of like what we eat and if you have been here the or not yeah just share the vibes and so if you have been here or not you can figure out whether or not you want to try it um, and take you guys on this like food journey with us through Connecticut we definitely explored our area um, and there's some, there's some food, there's some good food, some, some surprising places. Um, so we'll see if yeah, this I'll one give works. Yeah, I'll give you credit for that. There was a place I drove past and I was like, never. And then Tara's like, no, we gotta try this. And I was like, all right, whatever. And ended up being great. So, it shows what I know. I mean, you never know. I'm, I'm, I'm always really open to trying anything. And I really do believe in hole in the walls. Um, you never know what you're gonna get from them. And I feel like a lot of times they're really good. Hey guys, so we're at a totally different restaurant now. Classic Mike and Terry mix up. It was it, no, it's not our fault, but it's just a oh, classic. She responded, by the way. Oh, did she? Yeah. So the person in charge of the hookup for Terry and I uh, at this at this restaurant we were going to try out for brunch uh, is a marketing person, which is like, which means that person didn't actually know how the restaurant works because they didn't have brunch on Saturdays, which makes a lot of sense now that I think about it out loud. Um, so. We ended, so they said, well, do you want to just have a regular meal here? And we were like, no. It was like the whole deal was to promote the brunch and stuff. So we went, we instead decided to regroup, go to West Hartford, find a restaurant, and we ended up at the restaurant. Let's see if I need that in a sign. This is Division West, which is where we had a rehearsal dinner. So this is our first time actually eating here as a couple. We kind of just showed up for our rehearsal dinner, hoping it was gonna be good because the menu looked good, and it was fantastic. And as we walked in, the person who was my contact for the rehearsal dinner was greeting us and like recognized both of us. So it's already off to a good start. Can't wait to try this. Uh, so we were able to turn a total loss into a total win. I think we'll see what happens. But I quickly wanna oh my gosh. wait, 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 wait. I have to look at Penny's face. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. She's like, I was here before. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was pregnant at the rehearsal day. Yeah. If you don't realize. Anyways, I just found a drink. It's called Unicorn Tears. Mm -hmm. Absolute prickly pear puree, pineapple, fresh lemon, edible glitter, and the last ingredient is magic. All right, let's try it. <laughs> they actually had three or four cocktails I was really impressed with, so we'll see. All right, I'm gonna stop this before it gets too crazy. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I got so we have some truffle fries, some fried calamari. I feel like we always get fried calamari. We do, we love it's it. It's our favorite starter. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's my favorite starter for sure. 
too good. Is that a Northeast yeah. thing? I wonder. I know what, comment below. Is that elsewhere in the country? Or if it's a Northeast. Or is it just because we're here? I have or no the clue. coastal thing, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's a coastal thing. Does the name of, if I ever make my own cocktails, I'll steal that virgin recipe. That's I a know, fantastic right? name. He threw gin up is the name of his drink. And then I got the unicorn pears. Pretty cool looking. Nice yeah. summer drink. Yeah, I was going to say, gin is just super summery. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the calamari is almost gone already. It's only been two minutes since the last time I held the camera. <laughs> You guys, our meal is here. Mike got the half chicken. Looks fantastic. It does look so good. You know what's good. great? See that stuff on top? You know what that is? Uh, no. That's garlic. garlic. Yeah. <gasps> nice. My breast would be terrible. <laughs> and then I got the ricotta gnocchi. Yeah, that's a great shrimp. That With the broccoli rob. And really Penny got breast milk in the car. <laughs> 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 she made a face like, Ew. Another homemade meal. I like that. People say I don't cook. I cook every day. <laughs> All right. Time to do it. Okay, so we're uh, oh, terrible lighting. So we're all done. Did you did you get the entrees? Yes, I did. Okay, uh, okay. Remember you said you talked about the garlic on top? That's right, okay. Yep, so we have everything. And then we, we wanted to get dessert here, but we just weren't crazy about anything they had on the menu. So we were like, oh, we'll just get the check or whatever. And these people are so sweet. They got us little cake pops. And there's a thank you on it. Um, just amazing. Yeah, Penny's asleep. So good. Penny's sleeping. Which is yeah. kind of why we wanted to have dessert, was we were hoping to just let this ride, but I think we're just going to stand her up. Maybe maybe we can do a transition where you pass her off to me and I'll walk around with her a little bit. We can walk to the car and yeah. I'll push the stroller. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we're going to go to a creamery, maybe. I hope so. Yeah. If she, if she, unless she screams the entire ride. Ride home. We might go to a creamery that's kind of closer to home and get some ice cream and maybe a milkshake. We are both lactose intolerant, but that has never stopped us before. So that's kind of the plan for right now. I have not acknowledged my lactose intolerance. I'm lactose sensitive, <laughs> is as far as I'm willing to take this. Just for the reference, <laughs> I, I have not yet acknowledged <laughs> how screwed I am. <laughs> All right, see you at the creamery. Hey guys, so update. Not sure if you can see the sign behind me, but we ended up at another creamery, which just adds to what Terry was saying is, for whatever reason, I've been on like a cre- it's the summer, I'm like in an ice cream mood. And so we ended up at this place, it's called Collins Creamery. I've been here before, and kind of made us go out of our way to come here again. <laughs> it is so, it is so good. They make their own ice cream. They have like a ton of top, like, I've been to a few places that were like, better ice cream but they don't have as many options and stuff on like toppings or no toppings whatsoever it's just like listen we make ice cream that's what we do we don't mess around with other stuff this place is like they had a hot fudge so i had soft serve which is like one of my sneaky favorite things of vanilla soft serve with hot fudge whipped cream and reese's pieces uh it was so good and terry psycho that she is <laughs> Got a brownie sundae. No, 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 sorry, not brownie, brownie sundae. Milkshake. Brownie milkshake, which is just a milkshake. And then they they cut a brownie and threw it inside of it and, and blend it all. It's so it's so good though. Like this is like I would come here again multiple times just for this. Like I'm really enjoying this. Really yummy. I'm glad because I plan on coming back here quite a bit because I haven't I haven't even touched like one tenth of what I want to do on the menu. The stuff, the ice cream is so good. I haven't had a thing. Uh, I came here with Penny uh, earlier this week, which is real, real. That's actually psycho behavior to be at a creamery this much. But earlier this week <laughs> we came here and I got, um, oh my god, one of the one of their specialty flavors of ice cream that they make in house, and it was so good. Oh, peppermint stick. It was amazing. Um, that sounds really good. It was really tasty. Ooh, yeah. I should do the brownie with that ice cream base. That would be good. They also make, I'm anxious to try, they make a sweet cream, which is like, Arthusa makes a sweet cream that's really good. But this place is supposed to be like a top 10 in the state. Uh, I can vouch for it based on the five I've tried so far. It's in the, <laughs> it's at the top of that list. 
um, just awesome. So, um, all right. Yeah, I think the news, they have a sign saying that Channel 3 is coming here because they're ranking them. Yeah. They're ranking the creameries. They're ranking the creameries in the state, so the news will be here this week, this coming week. Well, they got to vote for me. So, mm -hmm. poor Penny has been here twice and has had a drop of ice cream. She's oh, so asleep right now. She's asleep, which is like, she's been dying to sleep. So I'm, she's so I'm, tired. I'm dreading putting her in the car for her to wake up again and then have another 15 minute drive home where she screams the whole time. Uh, all right. That's hopefully, hopefully she just sleeps through the drive. Yeah. I'll also probably close out the rest of this vlog because when we get home, we're going to try and put her to sleep, clean, and then sleep ourselves. Because so. did we say that our, our cleaning person didn't show up? She's no. She's not feeling well. No, our cleaning person is injured. Uh, and so she couldn't clean. So now we have to clean our own place. Now we have to clean our own place, which we haven't done in, in months. Since before the baby was born. Months. It's gonna be tough. I don't remember what it's like. Mm -mm. I don't know where any of the things are anymore. <laughs> so that's gonna be the rest of my afternoon. Well, and I don't think I'm gonna vlog that. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna close it out here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye. Bye.